Hang on. That's Roy's dressing gown. How can you wear that? After what we've just done. Oh, get it off. Go on. Get it off. I didn't just become a little bit of a slag. I became a total slag. Get out of my pub. Go on. Get out of my pub. Feel. Feel. Well, what do you expect Bobby to do with it? He doesn't know any better than anyone, including you. Phil, there's two people in this house. Let me tell you, it just isn't big enough for the both of us. Now, I've got a gun, and I'm not afraid to use it, Phil. Even if it means throwing it away, God, believe you've put me in this situation yet again. Phil, this time, I'm serious. It's me, or the Vic. I won't stand for your messing around anymore, Philip Mitchell. No, Ian, sometimes you've got to listen to other people around you other than just thinking about yourself. I've already had words with her and she should not be doing it again. But yes, she's come up and she's knocked on our door with a rat a tat tat thinking she can tell me who she is. But you're with me and you best be faithful to me, Ian, because I'm telling you now, if there's any messing around, you're going to feel the back of my end. Lucy. She was in a big eye of a woman to the girl. She got now. <laughs> Everybody's done something they were ashamed of, but you know, he's my son and I had to look after him one way or another. No matter what nobody says about nothing, I had to keep him in that room locked up until he died. Yes, he was a crack addict, but he was my son, he was my dick.